In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of an Apple iPhone 6 I recently purchased off eBay. Now, there is quite a story behind this phone, actually. Um, so, um, this is a Sprint 16GB model. However, it is unlocked, and I will explain that in just a minute. But, um, I got this phone off eBay for 150 bucks, And, basically, it was fully functional, or at least uh, the listing said it was fully functional, uh, except for the screen, which didn't show an image. So I went ahead and got a new screen off eBay and put it on the phone. Now the phone you're actually seeing right here is not the phone I purchased off eBay. And I will tell you why that is uh, in just a minute. But um, after putting on the screen, or after putting the screen on the iPhone I did purchase off eBay, uh, that got it mostly working. However, um, one thing that I found wrong with the phone, or actually two things, was um, for one thing, the uh, Touch ID sensor, uh, the home button Touch ID sensor, uh, didn't work. Now that could have been for one of two reasons. Um, one reason is the home button I got with the phone um, wasn't original, which is most likely. But another reason could be a bad home button cable. So basically, uh, for those of you who have never seen what uh, how these are put together, uh, basically the home button plugs into another cable which goes along the back of the screen and then um, connects along with the other three connectors uh, right about here. And basically when I removed the original uh, metal backing off the original screen, there was a little bit of glue um, in one section of the cable which I think uh, caused it to rip when I pulled it off so I'm not sure if that if it actually ripped or not but um, that's my best guess now um, another thing that was wrong with the phone as I found out later is the camera uh, didn't focus for some reason so basically you could uh, open the camera app and tap on the screen as many times as you could and it just wouldn't focus at all so uh, I guess I would have had to replace the camera module. But, I decided to go ahead and check the serial number online uh, to see if it still had Apple Care or something on it. And sure enough, it still had a, a warranty on it, like the one year warranty that um, all Apple products come with. Um, I guess it was purchased late in, it, in the uh, iPhone 6 life, but, um, or the iPhone 6, I, I don't know how you describe it, but I guess from the time of release of the iPhone 6, it was pretty um, late in that cycle, probably not much uh, before the 6S was released. But um, nonetheless, it had warranty on it, so I went ahead and took it into the Apple Store just to see if I would have some sort of chance of them repairing it or replacing it. And luckily for me, um, they actually replaced the phone, even though... Um, it has a it had a non-original screen and possibly a non-original home button. They still replaced it, which was um, quite awesome. So basically, I got a perfectly functional brand new iPhone 6 for 150 bucks. So I consider that a pretty good deal. Now there are a couple downsides of this phone, and I'll show you that in just a minute. But um, one of the main things that concerns me about this is the storage. Um, unfortunately, uh, this was a 16 gig uh, device, so of course that's what they're going to give me in replacement of the original 16 gig one. Um, while my current iPhone, which is a white iPhone 5S, is 32 gigs. So that will be some sort of compromise I'll have to make if I do decide to use this um, as my main phone. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, and I'm sure you've noticed this by now, but uh, this is a, a gold iPhone 6, so that is quite nice. I do like the gold color. It looks very nice. But, um, of course, since this was a replacement, it is a fully functional phone, so I'll go ahead and uh, unlock it. Now, I do have um, all my stuff on here already because uh, because I did intend to use this as my main phone for a bit, but um, I did have trouble putting all my uh, stuff on it, which, uh, of course, because it is a 16 gig phone. So let me just go ahead and show you that. Let's go to Settings, General About, um, and you can see there 
that the capacity is 11.9 gigs and I currently have only 4.1 gigs available which is not bad I mean I can definitely live with it and I most likely will end up doing so because even if I did decide to sell this phone um, I probably wouldn't have much of a chance of ever finding one in this good a condition again for a decent price. So I am most likely going to keep and use this as my main phone. Now one thing I did mention earlier was that this is indeed a Sprint model iPhone 6 and um, I did actually attempt to unlock the original one that I had however Sprint claimed that it was attached to a Sprint account and um, couldn't be unlocked unless uh, I was the original owner of the account the phone was attached to. Um, well, of course, I'm not uh, that I don't have Sprint and I'm not the original owner of the phone, so there was no way I could have done it. But luckily, when I got the phone replaced, uh, of course, it's no longer attached to a Sprint account because it is an entirely new device. So I went ahead and called up Sprint again. Um, I actually had to call twice. Um, the first guy I called was, he was not not very helpful at all. He just basically just told me that, oh, I'd have to have I'd have to be the original owner because he's like, he told me that it could be financed and he'd have to pay it off and all this other crap that, of course, wasn't true because this is a brand new phone. So I called again. I actually called a different number, and this guy was actually helpful. He asked for the IMEI of the phone which of course I gave him, and after about two minutes or so, uh, he unlocked the phone, and now I am able to use it on my carrier, which is Verizon. So, I am totally capable of using this as my main phone, and I most likely will do so, despite the 16 gig um, limit that I have on it. So, yeah, I'm overall very happy I got this phone, and even if I don't end up using it, I will definitely be able to sell it for a decent amount. So that is an overview of my Apple iPhone 6. Hope you enjoyed this video.